through online court records all day in the case involving a mother suspected of killing her two children and injuring a third. Tonight, the search continues for that mother, Kimberly Singler. She's accused of murder, attempted murder, and child abuse after police responded to a condo on Colorado Springs' northeast side last week. 11 News reporter Melissa Henry is live at that condo complex now near Powers and Stetson Hills. Melissa, national law enforcement is stepping in to help with this search for Singler. Lindsay, the FBI Denver office confirms it has been asked by Colorado Springs police to help look for Kimberly Singler. Now, this is where the investigation began. Now, 11 days ago, Singler and her 11 year old child were found hurt inside. They were treated and police say that 11 year old is now safe. The seven and nine year old of Singler's found inside were found dead by investigators. Now we're learning more about this family's legal matters. According to court records, those show an open case over neglect and child placement. A divorce case is open between Singler and a man named Kevin Wentz. Court records show the now wanted mother was granted a temporary protection order from Wentz this fall. A hearing is scheduled for next month over a permanent protection order. We're hearing from that man, Kevin Wentz's attorney, who says in part, Mr. Wentz and his family are currently in a tremendous amount of grief and shock. Going on to say Mr. Wentz and his family will comment on the investigation at a later date. Filings have been made in the family's cases as recently as last week. The latest filing was made on the day after the deadly incident was reported. Now, the U.S. Marshal's Office tells us it has not been asked as of now by Colorado Springs Police to help in this search for Kimberly Singler. It's not clear why that uh, federal resource is not being utilized at this time. We've asked Colorado Springs Police why that is and for other updates we have not heard back yet. We'll let you know as these updates come in. Lindsay, back to you. Yeah, we'll continue to follow this story. Melissa, thank you. Want to turn now to your no-way weather with Chief Meteorologist Brian Bledsoe.